Now, Osho would describe a confined space as a space that was large enough to get into. You can get some work done in it. It's got limited entry and exit points, and it is not designed for continuous use. I gotta get out of here. Hey, Troy Maris here with Power Pack. Today, we're talking about permit versus non-permit confined spaces. And that, I think that deserves a permit because I'm pretty sure it's hazardous to my health. Let's take a look at the differences. Non-permit, that's your easy one. If your confined space does not have any life-threatening hazards in it, well, it can be deemed as a simple non-permit confined space. Easy enough. Now, on the other hand, if the confined space does have the potential of life-threatening hazards like toxic air, or if there's hazardous materials inside, maybe utility lines, or here's a big one, if you could potentially become trapped inside, then you've got yourself a permit confined space. To get a permit to enter said space, you need to work with the company that owns the confined space. They should already have a permitting process in place for you to help you out. This process is designed to make sure all safety parameters are in place before a worker like you or I enters the confined space. Pre-entry checks are another big one. They need to be conducted every time. Safety and rescue measures need to be ready and on standby. And all activity needs to be logged and filed in order to be OSHA compliant. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Do me a huge favor. Be sure to like and share this video so they don't throw me back in the confined space. Till next time, thank you, stay safe. Non-permit, that's your easy one. If your confined space, non-permit's your easy one. If your confined, confined face, if your confined face doesn't have any life-threatening issues, any horrible acne, scarring, if your confined face, you know, isn't too contorted, there may be hope for you. If you or a loved one had been affected by confined faces, please dial this number here, 1-800-CONSPINEDFACES.COM. Your donation of 25 cents a day, one cup of coffee, could save a child suffering from conspined faces. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna, re we're gonna run that back, huh? What do you, what do you say? Cut there, we'll cut there.